So just to recap, we've already created our home screen, which just contains app, uh, Hello World. Now we're moving on to create the header, which should contain the name of our application, Food Central. Okay, so, so to do that, we should create a custom component called header.js. So opening, uh, opening this up, the shortcut, uh, the shortcut is command B. Header.js. So again, some boilerplate stuff. So import React from React and import React Native. Uh, import from React Native the following components. So this is what we call a named import. So we're just getting a couple of components from React Native library. We're not in importing everything here. Unlike from React, this is a default import. We're importing everything from this React library. Okay, so if it's a named import, we should enclose it in square um, in curly braces and the name should match how we use it. So like whatever they name it in React Native, you have to import it the same. Although there are there are ways to to um, to have an alias, but we're not going to discuss it right now. So just an FYI. So we need um, view the style sheet and the text. Okay, and then let's create our JS, JSX code. Const header equals. So let's leave it empty for now. We're going to customize it later, and return something. Just return text called label. And let's export that. Export default header. Okay, so we're not going to see anything yet because we haven't imported it. Imported this header component to our, from our home screen, not JS. So let's do that now. Command shift R, import. So the path is dot dot slash components slash header and header here. Okay, and let's import that by invoking our JSX code header, uh, self closing tag, save. And there, there we go. The label text is here, but that's not what we need, right? We need some, we need the header to be at the top. And we need that to be the purple, vi uh, with, to be the color violet, and it should have the label food central. So first, first thing I usually do is I style my, uh, I make sure it works first, like so that I can see it on my screen and I can easily um, adjust or make tweaks by using fast refresh. So if you want to enable it, just three fingers on your Expo app and enable or dis disable fast refresh here. So on save, you're just gonna see the changes. That's why I love um, doing UI, because you can see the changes, there's immediate gratification to it. So we're gonna use style sheet. It's used to style components in React Native. So down here, you can use uh, con style, style sheet dot create, and we're gonna pass an object full of styles. So this, the syntax for styles is, as you can see in this default code, is much like CSS, if you're familiar with them. So it should be easy. So we're going to create a container, a rectangle, which should be the header. And, that's, and we'll call that style container. Let's give it a width of... 500 and a height of 90. So this are just these are just approximations and the background color and I already picked it picked it out uh, before it's um, 829 BFE. So it's a light purple. Justify content. Okay. Let's just save that first and see what we've got before I move any further. 
um, style rather style and styles dot uh, the style is this styles this constant styles dot container save and we have this in the middle of everything so you can see a rectangle with a pretty good width so you can customize uh, this width like it should not be a hard-coded value but for now let's leave it at that at that okay so you would want this header here to be at the top and not at the vertical center of things so to do that we have to remove justify content center so that all the elements of this screen this home screen which includes the header and the text and the status bar would be would not be at the center so justify content is the vertical um, alignment of it all so since it's center it's here at the center and align items deals with the horizontal alignment so if I comment that out everything's gonna be at the top and now you can see the status bar so since it's auto it's the style is light but if you want this to be a dark darkened style you can put bar style equals dark uh, well default so my default is light but if you put dark content there we go so it's a the darker status bar style okay so going back to the header we still uh, the label still isn't showing here so for it to show because it's probably somewhere uh, like behind that header you could add align items so that should be camel case align items center align item center and it's at the, the top We need to add justify content flex end here. Don't forget the comma. So this puts our label um, at the bottom of this um, this header, this header container. If we put center here, it's going to be at the center. So let's leave it at that. It's justify content center, align item center, which is the horizontal alignment so we need to make this label so so we're done with the header so we're done with the container so the, it's purple it's at the top and it has that text that child com component which is the text at the center of everything so horizontally and vo vertically so we need to add some styles to this label so that it's bigger it's more visible like all application titles are so let's add another label style here and then let's give it a font size of 24 and for that to take effect visibly in our application we should add style styles dot label style rather on font size and that's 24 but it's still too thin so we can add a font weight let's make it so there's there's a lot of options so if it's 900 it will look like that let's say 500 it's too thin 700 perhaps okay so now we're talking so now the excuse me so now the label is more visible but you would want this label to be customizable so that our header can have different labels 
depending on what component caused this. So to do that, we have to have this header component be reusable by allowing it to receive parameters or props. So if you're from other, if you know, you know other programming languages, you do that by passing parameters to methods or to classes if you're programming in an object-oriented language. For React Native, we do it via props. So all components have props. And we can, we can see what's inside those props by printing them out. So console.log, props here, save. And let's save that again. So the props is an object and it's empty because we're not passing anything to header when we invoke it from home screen.js. So if you want to pass something to it, let's say pass label here and header, pass label here called food central, save. Our props now prints label food central and we can access that, that we can access and print any string to the screen through curly braces so we can invoke that through props dot label and save and now it's customizable now it's food central so every time we can invoke multiple headers from different screens. So for example, um, it's going to be dog central, cat central, bird central, mall central. So we can customize the label of this header anywhere you want. And now we have multiple headers stacked together on this screen. So that's just for demonstration purposes that this is a reusable component and we have customized the word label. Now, um, we can also destructure the props since we know that we're receiving label and so that we won't have to invoke props dot something. We can just del delete that and say label here. Um, we're getting an error because we can't find the variable prop, so I'm just going to comment that out and delete this. Delete props. Save, and everything is good as new. So, what are we printing? Clearing this, Command K, console.log to print, and we're printing the label. So, basically, basically, we're just getting the label property from props and displaying that on the screen. So that's how to create a custom component whilst passing a property to make it reusable and customizable. So congratulations, you've created your first customizable component with React Native. Now in the next video, we're going to start creating the UI, the user interface of our card or restaurant card so that you can display all the images and all the restaurants there. So hit pause and I'll be back soon.